Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a flip through of my most recently completed journal. Um, it's this one right here that I made out of an old uh, cookbook. And I have a flip through of it when it's blank, so if you want to see that. And it's the biggest journal that I've worked in. It measures 8 by 11, so almost like a sheet of paper. And it was nice to work in this journal because it gave you a lot of space. But sometimes, um, because I put so many pages in it, towards the end of the book, you'll see I left some pages blank because I just wanted to move on to another journal. Um, but I did really like working in this journal. The first page I kept pretty simple. I just put the dates that I worked in this for. So I worked in it for about five months. This first page here was about the first day of school. I put a little fussy cut of golden books that I had from a vintage kids book. I just put this little fabric here just because it was nice with the flower, fussy cut with flowers. Then I made, uh, the girls and I made like ID cards cause we homeschool. So that was cute. And I just printed a copy of those there and made like a goals list with them. And yeah, I used this printable flash card and um, put a picture there. So. Then here I was journaling about our rock getting our rock, <laughs> our dog getting training and um, this in journaling. And then there was a sticker from the company and a picture of our dog. Here I have some swatches that I ordered are some washi tape from Amity Bloom. So I just included those there. Here, it was the day that we went to the rodeo and um, I didn't really get very much ephemera from there. I think this was, yeah, these are vintage. So this is not from that day either, but it kind of went with it. So I just printed a little picture of the logo and then I put our wristband here. I did make this little flip. I saw it on a, I saw a YouTube tutorial about it and if I'll look for the link and list it down below. She did have a closure on it, but I just made it like this. So it flips and then it flips this way and that way. And then I just put some pictures in journaling on there. And this I cut out out of a paper pad, like a little ticket strip just to decorate kind of as washi. I got this from With Love L or Peace Peace Junk Journals. It's when she changed her name. Um, and it's a little shaker cord. And I used it to put some pictures and journal here. Then I put um, a tag here that I journaled with. And I made this tiny little envelope here and put a picture. And then my son, he kind of just blends into this. This is an old... Um, the book jacket of a book that uh, we donated, but somehow I kept a book jacket. So I just put it here as a background. Um, and here I made a tag with scraps and then did some journaling in the back. In this pocket that has pictures also, um, I made like out of a master board, one of those scrappy master boards. This was my nephew's birthday um, so I just put everything like from the goodie bag. This was made from the goodie bag. Um, this was also, this was like part of the decoration and I just made this little card. I backed it and put a tab and did some journaling. This is one of the napkins. Um, and then she had stickers in the goodie bags. So I used some of those to decorate the page. And then in here I just have extra pictures. This was a day of a uh, meetup that we had at the park. So I did the one of those vocabulary books, vintage books. I picked meet and park um, just to use them as little flips. And then this picture slides out. It's just of the three babies. And then this I made from a gardening book and then some scrap like paper bag type paper, um, craft paper. And it doesn't go with anything. I just liked it. I really like that picture. 
And I did some decluttering, so I put the after pictures there, and then I did some journaling here. And then I did some journaling about this book that I read that I loved. It's like my favorite book. Um, and yeah, so I did some journaling about that. And I put it in a clear pocket. And then in the background, I just put some scrap wrapping paper that I had. Um, this was a baby shower that we threw at work. And then I put some of the decorations, like the little leaves. I went uh, painting with my sister and that's what this is about. So I kept my swatch card and then um, I put a picture of my painting here. This one is just like a random assortment of things. I just put pictures of my Bubba and just a picture of us there. My girls and then my middle is she drew this and I was like, that looks just like you. So I put that picture there. And then here I just have, yeah, just like everyday stuff. My husband, he ordered new shirts for um, his guys and stuff for his company. And they all wanted to wear one. So we took pictures of that. And then my daughter, she made this thing so I can keep like stickers and stuff. A little folio and a sunsets book so it's just like little things she made so I put those in this pocket here and this bag I got from an order that I placed online so then I just folded it almost in half and made two pockets out of it Um, this, my brother came down for his birthday, so I did some journaling about that. And I didn't get any pictures of that day. Oh, wait. Yeah, I did. They're right here. Um, so we put him on this. I put him on that little tab or journaling card. And then just pictures of my baby. Um, this was some journaling about work and about my girls and then I did some journaling in here and these are just tabs from some stuff that I thrifted and then I just put a little scrappy strip there um we took some art classes in person and online so then I just put some of our work here this is a printable and then um I hung some of our work there and this is them at the studio doing their work or their um, artwork and then this was the last day of school before that new school started so i just did some journaling about that and i took a picture of the girls with all the books they read there and then um I can't see this here i made this little strip of pictures of us at panera because we just always go to Panera on the last day of school and they each get a cookie and it's just a good time. Um, as part of our school, we do a thing called poetry tea time. So I just took a picture one day. I either make, I make a snack or I make sourdough biscuits or um, just anything. I just bake something and then I just, instead of tea, we, we don't really drink tea. We do chocolate milk. So. That's what this is about. And then I put the sourdough biscuit recipe that we like and some more journaling with this flip. Um, this is when my daughter started dance and we went and bought the um, outfit. That's the receipt. And then that's her, her first day. I just did a little cutout. Um, here we went to Munster Jam, so it's just pictures of us at the stadium and some journaling, the receipt for parking, um, and I wrote with Sharpie here $25 for parking because these fade out, so, and this was my husband's birthday, uh, we went out for dinner and then his sister came over and we just hung happy birthday, sung happy birthday. Um, let's see here. We just have, oh yeah, the girls did, um, they do like a girls club once a month or so. 
and they have crafts. And then this day they made uh, pony bee pets. And these are all the girls there. So it's a bunch of girls that get together. It's really fun. And then these pages were kind of brittle, so I just made into a pocket instead. And I just put things my daughter has made me. I received this birthday card on a swap, a journal swap that I did. And I love this so much. So I did some journaling and I put the pictures of the flowers that I got for my birthday. Um, this is us at dinner. And then I put the other cards too. Um, my husband's card here. And then my oldest, she did a painting of this picture here, which I have in my room. Um, so I just put the picture there that she used as to, uh, to paint it. Then some more birthday cards and pictures here. These pockets, clear pockets, I use um, from those like 12 by 12, I think Project Life or scrapbooking pages. I just cut them apart and use them as pockets. Birthday card that my daughter made me. Uh, my mom's card, I just had to flip it on this side because it didn't fit on the other side. Um, and then, yeah, here I just have recent reads with their rating and like a little review about it. This is just um, stuff from our everyday homeschool. Um, we have some, the girls, they did like a Christmas shop. So they painted some ornaments and things like that. We made toothpaste. We did some art classes and then we painted some cardinals. And I had this little cutout from a book and then down here this envelope flips and I have like some journaling and pictures from one of the field trips that we did here's another little field trip that we did and it was to like a nature preserve and they have different exhibits that you can walk through and learn about the Florida wildlife and then this was for my daughter's birthday. I just did a flip with a vintage card and did some journaling there. This washi tape is kind of coming off. And then her card there. I made this out of a junk mail envelope and I just put um, confetti in the window. And then this just flips down. This is hard to see because it's so big, but it flips down with some journaling, some pictures. This birthday card flips up and I have forgotten that I had an extra invitation, so um, I printed one. That's why I have two on there. And then here in this background, um, one of the girls painted this and they were just gonna throw it away. So I was like, oh, let me get it. And then I just used it as the background and then some tissue paper to kind of collage the background before I started, started layering stuff. And then this is on her actual birthday, we just went out to eat. And then in here, I have some more pictures. And then this is another thing that one of them made and they were gonna throw away, so I just took it. And then this is my other daughter's birthday. Um, here's another scrappy, another scrap of those tissues. I put a sticker. This is actually from a Christmas printable from Piece of Junk Journals, uh, but it doesn't really say anything Christmassy. So I just used it for that. And then this is from that kit too, actually. This is her wish list, which she made with her sister. So I just put it here. We went out to a water park and then this was the parking tag for the car. And then I took the hotel room key and I just stuffed it with receipts. And um, we all wanted a dessert, so we went and we went out and got a dessert from an Italian place nearby. And then it's just a bunch of pictures. And I like the way that those look layer there. And then I used the, the map from the park and I did some journaling on the back. I mean, on top of it. And then this was part of the same trip. We also went to uh, Ripley's which was actually part of a field trip too. So we were there with our homeschooling group 
and we put our band from doing the ropes course and the parking pass um yeah i did some journaling in this little part of the page illustration i almost didn't see it kind of blends in with the page here I made four new journals that I listed on my Etsy. And so I put the scraps of when I was done working with things, I just put them there with the picture. And then this I got from a journal that I ordered. And this is old. This is from an old planner. I just stuck it there. I had like these scraps that I had saved from memories. And then this is just pictures of him at the park. My oldest, she made like um this rainbow thing and um she gave it to me and then i just put different like positive notes on there our ac stopped working one day so i just put the receipt of it getting serviced and then i made this page into a pocket and it just has a bunch of stuff like drawings that the girls have made and this little card paintings this is actually from one of those uh, nature preserves that we went to um their little pamphlet and then since they were making flower arrangements just i just put it there my husband i actually saw him his company truck as i was driving i was like oh how fun so i just journaled a little bit about that and i colored this so I just stuck it in here with some washi. Uh, this is, I my sister, she is a cosmetologist and I got my lashes done with her. So I did some journaling about that in here, I think. And I put her business card there. And then just like self-care type thing, like working out and then some journaling in the back. And then I made a chocolate cake from scratch. And then that's my niece just loving it there. And my nephew. And then just like some journaling that there. Here I just had some pictures of my baby sleeping. So I just put them on there. I made a Halloween journal that I gave to a friend. And then just like everyday journaling. I don't have anything specific there. This was my daughter's shirt and I love the illustrations on it and I try to make little journaling cards but because they have kind of like the rubbery painted stamp type of material it didn't work out well but anyway so I just ended up um, gluing them on here. Here I just have just like everyday life journaling little envelope with pictures some journaling here and this flips, I think. Yep. So it just has another picture of him. I did some ribbon trimming before I even filled the journal. Um, she had to get some dental work done and she got a rash with the, um, what do you call it? Like from the antibiotics. So that's what that was there. And it was scary when we first saw it, but I had this dentistry from like a kids encyclo encyclopedia and then this so i just made a little pocket with that and some journaling and then that's her paperwork and then that's her after um i have this vintage stamp here that says give me give me liberty of or give me death and so i did some journaling about what i what that meant to me on this postcard here that i made and here we just went on a like a fall trail thing in October and that's the wristband from the place and then just pictures and journaling here. They had like a fairy trail and that's, it was really cute. They made it with like sticks and moss on a headboard. It looked pretty cool. So then I just stuck little fairies around. Um, here was pharmacy week at work and so I did some journaling and I kept like the we did a holiday theme so I just kept the little flyers from the different holidays 
and I put Christmas on the top because that was my favorite. And we did a mummy wrapping contest, which was so funny. And then one of the residents gave me a thank you card, so I put it in here. And here's the card. I used the envelope as a pocket and then I stuck the card back here. And this was just random stuff. Um, my family was feeling kind of sick, so I went and got them chicken noodle soup. And then they gave me a coupon book and yeah, just random things. These couple entries are from when we went to Italy, which was actually like five years ago. But back then I didn't really keep a journal. So I just had all this stuff from when we went. And so I just journaled about that. And I thrifted like an old, um, one of those travel guides from, this one was specifically to Italy. So I was like, oh, this is perfect. So I cut out like the, um, the locations of where we went to and then i put pictures of us there like here um this is together and this was just a little piece of ephemera that came with i think like maggie holmes or something so i just stuck it there and i had um some cards from the carmen san diego game and then i just picked ones that had italy in them here are our bus passes which flip up and have pictures Oh, no, these are the passes from actually going up the stairs in El Duomo. And here's some pictures. And then here, we also went to Lake Gorda for my friend's wedding. Uh, so I marked it there. And let's see. I think that's pretty much it here. I just have some pictures in here. Here's part of that map. Uh, this one is... In Venice so I used it for Venice spread and I made the names like I just found the font online and I kind of copied it and then I put them on sticker paper and then here this little thing opens up like this and then it has some more pictures and journaling and then it just ties up Oh, yeah. and then on the flip I also have more pictures of so this is the um, the canal in Venice so I put a picture that I took and then a picture of us under one of the overpass or I think that's what it's called this illustration is from an old encyclopedia and I didn't do anything to it except make it a pocket because I didn't want to cover anything from it and then I just made a postcard type uh, journaling card with different pictures and journaling and then this was an actual postcard that I ordered a long time ago and then here you can see how the journal is so stuffed that it just became hard to work in so um, that's why I left some pages blank but here I had again from that game Carmen San Diego it had an ice cream and we went out for gelato every night so that was appropriate and then some other pictures of venice i mean not pictures yeah yeah these were in venice well no this was in mestre and then here's them eating ice cream and then some more journaling and i have this one of these passes here with some journaling um this was at my friend's wedding uh so i just put some pictures and journaling and then this was in lake orda so i made a little label there and this is a picture from a Daphne's Diaries uh, magazine. So here I have an envelope with some more pictures. And then I made this journaling tag that just goes in here. Here I just have some old stuff. Um, I had this from that same, um, like from the same planner from 2018, 2019. I kept some pages and then I did some like update and journaling and then some random bits in here. An old um, to-do list, 
here I was just messing around with some new art supplies that I got like one of those inky drop things um, this was of my daughter's dance recital and the passes this was a thank you card from one of my students um, and then this was just like family getting together I put some pictures there we had a bonfire and then uh, one of his, my husband's brothers brought old pictures. So I made copies of them and put them there. And then I just have some journaling. And then my husband started writing a poem. So I kept that and just some more pictures in here. And this one flips up and it's another picture. Um, I love this paper, so I didn't want to cover it. And plus I was already not wanting to work in this. I might rip this page out right here and use this somewhere else just because it has the strip of fabric or I might just leave it there. So you can see like here, I just left a few pages empty and then more blank. And then here I just did a washi tape collection. I got the idea from Meg Journals. She posted like her whole washi tape collection. And so I did that and what it looks like I don't remember if I counted them or not let me see yeah I didn't write the total number anywhere it looks like and that's it that's the whole flip through of my journal if you have any questions or any comments let me know down below and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time bye